action. All right, guys, we're here for meeting 001 of Propertypreneurs, and I'm sure um, Hunter told you guys, well, catch me up. I'm the one that needs to be caught up. So what have, what have we discussed so far? Nothing really. We haven't really. discussed anything. We've been waiting for you. Yeah. Beautiful. Everybody's always waiting for me. So. Well, you called this meeting, so you're leading it. <laughs> I'm the leader. Yeah. All right. Well, me. All right. So, everybody, I got to send. Bree, you have a script. Anthony, I got to send the script. Um, Hunter, why don't, we, why don't you get into what we had spoken to about before, kind of how this started. You wanted to um, kind of get into your thing. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. So, um, yeah. So I told Bree and Anthony those as two. Uh, I'm from Louisiana. Um, I'm actually a financial analyst for a healthcare company. Um, and I kind of met Don through an online uh, social media marketing agency type thing. It was for Facebook ads. And um, the whole reason I had joined the group was because even though I'm a financial analyst, you know, went to college, have this nice job and everything. Um, it really aggravates me to kind of be in the office all day from nine to five. I get it aggravates me too. Very crazy. Yeah, it makes you go crazy. Um, <laughs> and so for a while now, um, I've been kind of looking for different ways to get outside of that setting and to transition into something more online. Um, and so I did the ad agency and through that, I met Dom. And he and I started kind of talking, exchanging ideas. And he and I were both really, really interested in initially targeting real estate uh, agents for us to run their ad campaigns, to bring them buyer and seller leads. Um, but then after a while, we kind of realized, you know, these real estate agents, they don't have a whole lot of money to spend on marketing every single month. So instead of trying to fight with them. Don't jump, don't jump that one. Don't jump that one yet, though. What? No, don't jump that gun. The, the agents do. You find the right agents and you're going to get a good client there. But for the most part, they are a little bit of a headache. They can be a little bit of a headache. But we just prefer going towards investors. Right. And that is restricted. But don't, um, no, don't sleep on the agents. Like, that's a little bit of a stereotype. I just had to say that, that because you could find, you'll find some good agents if you find an ambitious one. Yeah, if you find an ambitious one. Anyway, bottom line, instead of trying to find that diamond in the rough all the time and spending all that time allocated toward that, he and I just started thinking and saying, you know, if we're getting these leads coming in, why not utilize them ourselves? And so that's what kind of started our relationship with uh, propertypreneurs and um, really kind of getting the ball rolling with what we're going to be talking to you guys about. All right, so that kind of gives just a little bit on property but All right, so basically, to get into the flipping, the real estate, whole aspect of actually what we're doing is rent to own. Our system is able to get a ton of leads on a constant basis, basically by scraping Craigslist. Um, we're reaching out towards... Obviously, distressed sellers, and I'm just going to warn you guys, you're going to hear music in the background because i got a band recording here tonight. Um, so it's well, I'm, I'm as far up as I can on levels. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to have some some romantic sounds of, I think, Cher. <laughs> um, all right, so, yeah, two sides of real estate flipping now. I mean, obviously, we can get into other aspects, but we're kind of going to avoid wholesaling. Later on in the future, we'll get into that. But right now, we're focusing on rent-to-own, um, and we're focusing on distressed sellers. We're looking at a real niche. Um, yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. I want, to get, I want to get a piece of paper and a pen so I can write shit down. Take notes, man. Yeah. You That's guys did that. Also, one of the reasons for the Zoom is this is eventually going to turn into a course. It's going to turn into a membership group. You guys are getting access to that, and you're kind of like the time run here, which it's going to turn into. So, 
You're going to get all the access, all the leads we're going to send you. You're going to get the scripts. We're going to pretty much do everything but get the people to sign the paper for you. What, um, is, what is the service? I need to know the service so I can properly sell, you know what? I mean, I need exactly. to know exactly what's happening besides the so, script because you know you're going to go off script. Yeah, exactly. All right, so... Basically, we're looking for distressed sellers. Now, the people we're targeting is either people that are selling their homes or people that are renting their homes. That's why with Craigslist, we're scraping all of the we're scraping all of the for sale by owners, and then we're even getting into some of the regular housing sales. So, what we're doing is connecting the buyers to the sellers. For a, um, for a homeowner that is trying to sell quickly and wants to get full market value for the house. We're able to come in, we're able to give them full market value for the house because we're doing the rent to own option. So in essence, they're leasing, they're doing a lease agreement with us. We're putting them under contract and then that's giving us the ability, giving us the right with principal um, interest in the property to go out and market that property. So basically what you guys are doing is getting the seller side, getting them to agree to the lease agreement and then you're putting them all up to us to which where we're going to get the buyers connect those buyers and then we get paid through the down payment on the lease agreement so with that it's usually about 10 percent of the asking price 10 percent of the purchase price so the seller is giving up that option that they can go off and do this by themselves right they're not going to be able to get the results we get because of the market because of our marketing experience because of our list of buyers that we accumulate we're able to get rid of it fast cash get them rent oh my god give me a second i'm gonna try to vote okay okay can you expand on that for a little uh like i understand you're okay you're connecting for a fee is that what you're doing you're connecting people for a fee Right. In general. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. All right. And they have called you at some point. Like these are these are people that are are you you yeah. said that you, so you our system, them already. Yeah. They're they're warm leads. Anybody that we send to you is gonna be interested, at least to the point where they want to know more information. You're not calling anybody cold. You're not um, calling anybody that doesn't want to be called. What okay. we're doing is we're sending out a text blast to everybody. We're collecting the leads. We send out a text blast. So everybody that you guys get will have had a text from us saying, would you be interested in selling your property rent to own? And they have answered with either a no, yes, fuck off, or, you know, how much can you get it for us from? And we sift through that. We're going to give you just the yes, maybes. And uh, maybe we'll throw in a fuck off in there just to keep you guys on your game. Okay, so these people essentially can't afford their house anymore, but they want to stay in their house. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of house and just rent it from you or whatever the investor want. It the investor wants it to take that on. Yeah, um, not all the time though. I mean, usually for for the most part we want we want to deal with distressed sellers we want the motivated sellers that want to get rid of quick get cash in their pocket that's why i mean this would work with wholesaling this would work with um like foreclosed homes and stuff but because of our system we're actually getting a mix of them not everybody's just don't think that everybody that we give you is a distressed seller right. because we're scraping craigslist so these are people that some of the people that you're getting just or uh, put up an ad to rent. Some of them just put up an ad to sell. You know, we're disrupting the whole day with, we're throwing it at them like, hey, would you be interested in maybe doing a, a rent to own? We can do wholesaling with our system, but for this primarily, we're sticking to rent to own. Okay, I'm, I'm confused with that. A renter doesn't own the home. So how are you getting? Do you want me to go through and like explain the rent to own? Uh like the components of it and everything? No. Yeah, I mean, if you want to... Okay. Yeah, so if you want to get... What? If you want to... No, I'll, I'll let you. You can go. All right. Um, so basically with the rent to own, um, like we were saying, we're getting a fee for connecting the seller and the buyer. 
Now the buyer in this case is the person that's going to be paying rent to the seller to live in the home. So what it basically does is uh, it sets them up with a three to five year lease in the home where they're paying rent every month. And these buyers are typically people who don't have any, they may not have any credit. Um, they may have not the greatest credit, but it gives them time to get their credit score up, to get it better, to where they can get a loan to later on purchase the house. So what they're doing with paying rent is they're getting a place to live, but they're also getting an option, the first come option right. to buy the house okay. once that lease term is up. Or at some point during the lease term, if they get a loan or get enough cash, they can purchase the house. And it's beneficial for the seller because they're getting the market price of the house um, while, and they're also getting a monthly income coming in from the tenant. Hunter. All right, I understand that. That makes sense. Um, yeah, Hunter, Hunter, can you uh, email me the script quick? I want to, because I have the screen share on. I want to be able to, uh, we can go you to, through. You have to send it to me. You yeah. Forward it to me. Yeah, I'll forward it to you. I have it, obviously, but it's not on this computer. Can you um, email it to me? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just uh Wait, look at your straight hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get her cut the straight hair. It's short though. Oh my huh? god. She cut a lot. Yeah. yeah. I told you. Bad move. <laughs> um, you said that to me, Hunt? Not yet. Hold on. There we go. Give me a second. All right, good. This makes sense, Tom. Oh, what? You didn't believe it when when I said it? You didn't believe me? I didn't. I, you well, didn't Hunt really say it. We didn't have this conversation. Amazing plan. plan. Um, I can I can use the extra money I need to pay off my fucking phone. So Anthony, do you have any questions? Cause, all right, Anthony's um Anthony's pretty new to this, but Bree, you haven't been doing social media marketing, huh? Have you been doing Have you been doing social media marketing? No, I just been looking into it. Been doing the Shopify store. Oh, you have been doing Shopify. Yeah. What do you sell on Shopify? Uh, baby clothes, like onesies that say shit on them. Is it, um, I mean, are you like getting real good results with that? Um, I'm just starting to get like in contact with influencers and shit. So this week I, I'm going to launch the thing I was working on today. That's what I was doing when you called uh, me earlier. Porn and weed paraphernalia? <laughs> Um, you guys, all right, we're going to be doing a group. We're going to make a Facebook group specifically for everybody that's involved in this. Bounce ideas off each other. Use each other like, you know, if um one of you guys, if Bree's making a ton of sales, Anthony, I would get in touch with her, start talking about ideas, find out what she's doing or vice versa. Um utilize each other you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna make this script our own right so me and hunter will tweak as we go along we make calls hunter's not always got time during the day because our our goal right now is to get rid of your day jobs <laughs> oh that's really the goal like you said yesterday that is help. the goal, that no, is, that's that's the goal. goal. i'm i'm with you on that i i can't i can't <laughs> Oh, hold on one second. I had somebody else. On. All right, hold on. Um, I had somebody else that was trying to get into this meeting. It's too late. It's closed. Yeah, I think they are. All 
All right. Um, okay. I just sent oh, it over now. You sent, okay, good. Also, like seriously, this is an easy sell. Um, these people are begging, you know what I'm saying? The one, they need your help. So, I mean, like that's and down. Obviously not everybody, you're gonna get some assholes, you're gonna get some people that don't understand. You'll probably get some, like, all right, me and Hunter right now, we may possibly, until I get that paper signed, it's not a deal, but like we got somebody today, I didn't even pitch. They called me, once I see, you know, when you guys, um. Make some calls with the leads that we got. You know, once you guys start seeing some results, when we start seeing some results, we're going to get you phone numbers that um, will have your area code. You can start doing it in your area. Then we'll start, for, you know, you'll have your number. We'll start forwarding, forwarding you the leads. Um, and then you can just start attacking your area. And that'll be good because then you can actually go there. You can do the marketing once at a time to actually be flipping the property. You know, you're going to want to go there, put signs up in the yard, maybe show the house and stuff, make it easier when it's not out of state. But easy sale. You'll get like the guy today. Um, I didn't pitch him. He called me. It was basically like, you know, he was kind of put – he didn't want to get the um, contract signed. He was not feeling like signing the lease agreement. And he didn't understand that there's no obligation. They're not getting into any locked contract with us stuff. The purpose for the um, the purpose for the lease agreement is simply that to give us um, principal interest and gives us the right to market that property. We're not real estate, and this is very important. We're not real estate agents. We're we're not licensed. We represent ourselves and only ourselves. Um, we don't represent the buyer. We don't serve the buyer. We're not working with. We are only looking out for our interest in the property, connecting them. The only reason we're able to market somebody else's property and not have a real estate license is because we get this contract signed. So like this guy tells me today, Oh, just get the buyers and then we'll work. We'll, we'll sign the contract. Cause he didn't want to sign the contract, get the buyers and then we'll sign the contract. Let's do it. And not do that. That is um, illegal. We'll get in major trouble for that. Um, all right, so let me just pull this up real quick. This person's trying to get in, so let me invite them quickly. Hey, it says, by the way, it says, it says remaining meeting time, like 2.52. What's that? It says, for me, it says remaining meeting time, uh, 2.44, like it's going down. Oh, two, minutes, two hours or two minutes? Two minutes. Oh, yeah, the meeting's okay. going off in two minutes? Yeah. All right. Sorry. <laughs> if um if it does go off, I think because when I set, set it up, it might have just been for like an hour and a half. Um if it does go off, then we'll just I'll resend another uh another invite. Um and you guys can ask questions and stuff. We'll get the um I wanna just see if I can do it here. Hunter, do you know if I can get into the settings of this meeting? Um, I do not know that. Um, no, I don't. We're we're um, Facebook ads experts. We're not we're not Zoom experts. Wasn't there a uh, wasn't there a to, um a tutorial on this in in? I only used this once, so I have no idea. No, I'm just I'm laughing at Hunter because in the program that we met in, I think there's a whole section on it. Zoom meetings. <laughs> you obviously did not take that course. You uh, sorry, my request remote. Original sound. I'm not seeing it. So we're gonna get interrupted. But um advanced sharing options. No, no, no. All right, I'm just gonna send you, I'm not gonna sit here and go crazy over this. Just send you another uh, meeting. So the remaining few minutes that we got, Anthony, what, what are you guys' questions that you, like main concerns? I mean, I wrote down pretty much everything that you guys said. So I'm just, as soon as this is over, I'm just gonna reread everything. 
So I will come back because I just want to. We'll go over this. I mean, we'll go over the script, but like, so you guys don't have any like major concerns, things on what to say to buyers. Um, well, it's gonna be less than a minute. I, I can't talk in less than a minute. Yeah, you can. Let's just hop on another one, and then we can answer questions or talk or discuss. All right, I'm just gonna end it now, then. Um, right. and I'll just resend. All right, I'm gonna go get some eat real quick. Beautiful. All right, wait. So, do you wanna? We'll reschedule this for what time? It's ten Eastern. So, um, it's only seven o'clock here. But.